Hey guys, it's Conf Hollywood Studios here, and today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting that's been seen at Six Flags Great Adventure and is definitely causing a lot of questions. If you've been to Six Flags Great Adventure recently, you would have noticed that Cyborg Cyberspin has all of its seats gone. And I really can't tell what else has been done because I haven't looked too closely at the ride, but all the seats are gone and there's definitely some form of major work being done to it. As for what that work is, I'm not sure, and as for what that means for the ride, again, I'm not sure. But I think we can all be led to a pretty safe assumption that there is at least the possibility that Cyborg Cyberspin is getting removed for the next season. Now, what's making me jump to this conclusion? Well, Cyborg has a very long history of mechanical issues. From when it first opened, it's been a mechanical nightmare and it always goes down or has some form of issues. This ride is pretty complex and it was also a prototype along with Harley Quinn at Six Flags Over Texas, so it's been plagued with problems since the very beginning. It has many motors that control the ride's complicated system and the movements the ride makes are definitely interesting. They're not conventional by any stretch of the imagination and they're just very, very strange for a thrill ride. While not a mechanical issue, it is important to point out that the ride doesn't really have the greatest reception among riders. On a crowded day, it really doesn't get that bad of a line, and its super big queue really has never been used, and quite frankly, the queue for Wonder Woman and the queue for Cyborg should be switched. But you ask most people what they think of Cyborg, and a fair amount of people will tell you they're not a big fan of it. Personally, I think it's a pretty good ride, I mean, it's not incredible, but it's fun for what it is but it's not the greatest ride, all things considered. I imagine this ride really is not cheap to uptake and maintain and run in general because I would assume it probably uses a lot of power to run the ride because it, like I said, has a very complicated system. I don't really know exactly how the ride works because I'm not an engineer yet and I'm certainly not a mechanic for the park either. So I really don't know how the ride works exactly, but it's a safe assumption that it's not a simple ride by any means, considering the fact that it's had major downtime for a lot of points throughout its history. Just recently, in 2020, the ride was literally closed all year until like the last few days of operation where it opened out of nowhere, which was certainly a surprise, it was fun to get back on it, but the fact that it was closed that whole time definitely shows that it has some issues. Now, I'm sure that can be summed up as issues with getting parts due to COVID and just supply chain issues and whatnot, but Cyborg's been down a lot this year, even when COVID has been kind of dissipating and the supply chain issues aren't as bad as they were, it still had a lot of downtime. Recently, obviously, the ride has been closed for quite a while now, and there's really no signs of anything good happening with it. Seats are gone, and it's been closed indefinitely with a sign out front saying that it does not operate during holiday in the park. Additionally, when you go on the app, it has no picture, and on the website, it's gone. Not even there. And that's not because of holiday in the park. Rides like El Toro are still on the website. Cyborg is just completely off the website. So what does this mean? I think it's safe to say, like I said earlier, that this ride probably will get removed if it doesn't get removed, maybe there's going to be some kind of major refurbishment to it that'll keep it closed all of next year. Quite frankly, I'm not really too sure what's going to happen with this ride. I know its sister ride over at Over Texas was closed last year when I went. I'm not really too sure if it's been open or closed or what's gone on with it, but that ride's not the most reliable thing either. So I think Six Flags would probably be in the best position to just cut their losses with the ride, get rid of it, and put something new there. But course that's just my opinion and they're not going to necessarily listen to it. I'm sure there's plenty of other reasons that they would have to get rid of the ride like what I mentioned with the mechanical issues, poor ridership, and just overall not being worth keeping the ride. But that's just my thoughts on Cyborg Cyberspin's recent state at the park. I don't think it's probably going to fare too much longer at Great Adventure. I think it's got a pretty pretty good chance of just being removed. So, of course, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Colin from Hollywood Studios, and I'll see you guys in the next video.